appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 83. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. This nigga keeps coming on the podcast. My guy, introduce yourself to the audience. What it do, people? It's your boy EJ in the house. What's up with it? Let them know where you're coming in from, E. International Hype, not just the oh, hashtag. Wow. It's a way of life. That nigga, that nigga be everywhere, man. But I'm calling out of Dallas, man. You already know. D-Town in the building. Shouts out to my nigga E. You already know. I got a lot of love for Dallas, Texas. Now let's hit that rundown. E-Block Radio Network every Monday, 2 p.m. on the E-Block Radio Network. The exclusive home for the video of the Hot House Podcast. Uh, GFT Radio Network, Tuesdays at 2 o'clock. Wednesdays, 216 The Blend, 12 midnight, 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Thursdays, WTNUPhilly.com at 1230. Friday, I say podcast radio network at 10 a.m. THC Media on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Sunday, still wide open. Uh, Clothing line, my clothing line, Custom Hustle World. Custom Hustle World on Instagram, Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Uh, Custom jerseys, jackets, t-shirts, sweatsuits, babies, clothes, you name it, we can make it happen. Jerseys and the sweatsuits and the jackets are all available for the babies as well as the adults. Uh, I think the jackets go up to a 6X. For you thicker brothers than me, we can still get you customized. Um, H2H Cleaning, also my cleaning company at H2H Cleaning, roof and plumbing, HVAC, uh, carpeting, flooring, cleanups, cleanouts, you name it, we can make it happen at H2H Cleaning uh, on Instagram only. Now, episode 83, got my nigga EJ. My nigga EJ is back in the building. You know what I'm saying? Now, E, this is what we need to know, E. You need what? You need what? It could be, uh, we're going to go like on your bucket list type of thing. I got these three things that I got to do. We're going to go one by one. You give right. me one and I'll go. Let's go, E. I need, uh, let's see. Start off, man. Consistency. You know what I'm saying? Um, out of yourself, that- out of out of. Shit, honestly, out of um, out of my stuff, man. Cause like me, I'm a I'm a Gemini, bro. So like, I get bored easy with things. Um, so me doing something and sticking to it is very big for me. Um, but you know, I, there's something that I know about myself and learned about myself that that's what you're supposed to do in this world. Um, Absolutely, is. It's, it's something I've been working on, and I've I've gotten better at it. You know, but. I can't be consistent at everything because it's a lot of shit that I do that I don't want to do, you know, but like the shit that I'm doing now, um, I'm on the right, I'm, I'm on the right road, you know, following the path, you know, for me to be consistent, you know, at what I do, you know, cause I love it. It's easy because I love doing what I do. So it makes it easier to be consistent. All right. My first one, this one is exactly for you, nigga. I got to get the chatters with my nigga E, man. <laughs> bruh, yeah. bruh, now I'm just say, fam. So my my boy in the navy. So he uh he 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 from Dallas. Uh, but he came back in town, and um, and I was like, shit, let's go to Cheddar's. You know what I'm saying? You already know. <laughs> I said, nigga, let's go to Cheddar's. It was like, fuck it, I ain't been to Cheddar's in a long time, nigga. His words was like, man, I forgot how good Cheddar's was. I'm like, nigga, man, these niggas down here don't know what's up, dog. Be sleeping on Cheddar's, man. That's what I'm saying. Number one, man, I got to get the cheddars with my nigga E, man. Next time I'm down, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get down for the 100th episode of the It's Better This Way podcast, you know what I'm saying? Still waiting, holding my breath. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We were supposed to slide the cheddars down. Holla at TJ for that one. Copy that. I'll be on T's ass tomorrow. <laughs> but, yeah. I got to get the cheddars with my nigga E, man. E would talk about cheddars every week on every episode. All his examples and was always, all right, so say you take a bitch to cheddars. <laughs> that was always his go-to. So I'm, my, in my, my head, analogies cheddars, be on point, too, dog. My analogies nigga, be on point, dog. Ch- cheddars better had the best shit in the world because I'm, I just shit well, been in my head I, I, for years. I, I can't say, I can't say it's, it's the best shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but for, for the price and what you're getting is very legit. I would say, you know, I would say, 
But you brought up, uh, I guess it's my turn. And, uh, you brought up food. But the one, another bucket list of mine, man, is um, I want to go down to Philly for uh, for a cheesesteak. That's how, that, that's always been on my list. I just want to go to Philly, get me a cheesesteak. But now I got to stay longer, you know what I'm saying, since I got people up there now, you know. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We ain't take you to the good spot, not the touristy joint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> take, them, take them to the real spot, man. What's, up, right. what's, up, what's, what's the best spot out there, though, for a cheesesteak? Ishka Bibbles on South Street. Ishka okay. Bibbles or probably either Gems. Gems just actually caught on fire on South Street. Uh, so they won't be open for a little while. But um, Ishka Bibbles would be the best drink. Yeah. The one that you, okay. it's two different, it's two different ones on South Street too. So you got to know which one to go to. The one that you walk up to the window, you get the fries and you get the cheesesteak. Fries be all that. But you don't go to the sit down one, go to the other one. <laughs> Why you don't want to go to the sit down? Cause the sit down one is the little, it's, it was the, like the expansion. It's the BS joint. Again, touristy. <laughs> we can get more people in here if you can sit down and chill. The other one is all like right. walk up to the window, get your shit, and keep it moving. That's the legit one. Um, okay. All right, man. The next one on my list is, excuse me, I got to get how to hustle enterprise to be. Uh, uh, how can I say this? Conglomerate. Uh, that would entail all of the different things that I got going on. No reason to have 25 LLCs where you could just get one and then run everything under the same joint. So when I say that to say to have the podcast is already like a revenue generator. The cleaning is H2H cleaning is a revenue generator and custom hustle is a revenue generator. But now let's keep them going and turn them into bigger situations, you know, Let's start merchandising some of this shit to a HBCU or high school or a rec league or something. Like, you know, let's turn this thing into an even bigger situation. And there's also uh, H2H Live, the live shows. That's the uh, Hot Hustle Seminars. Like, again, I got a million things going on. As you know, if you listen to the show, you hear the rundown gets longer and longer. So to turn that into, uh, like I said, a conglomerate, turn that shit into a situation where it's like I now have to lean on somebody else because I can't do all this shit because as long as it's the way that it is I'm going to continue to do everything by my damn self yeah that's a lot man but um everything you said is facts so as far as like you know getting help I was going to use that for number one but I just decided to put it on myself but uh you need you need help man like especially with everything that you're doing you know what I'm saying? You're like a mini Kevin Hart, bro. Got your hands and everything, you know? But see, it, help is what you need, but help is the hardest shit to find. To, to, to yeah. tell a nigga, yo, I, to tell a nigga like, yo, I need you here at 11 o'clock on Tuesday, and then he call you at 11.30 and tell you, all right, yo, I'm about to leave the house. Like, we can't do business like that. You can't have a contract set up with somebody where, yo, we're going to clean this out, or yo, we're going to deliver these jackets, these jerseys or whatever, and they're not taking it as serious as you taking it. That's how you it's, end it's up. Hard, it's hard to have somebody to care about your business as much as you do, you know? And that, and um, good good help is hard to come by, bro. Like, I mean, that's something that I know, like getting bartenders and shit like that um, to, take, to take my business seriously because it's, it's my business. Yeah, you're doing a job. But shit, this my business, so I gotta. I'm, I'm, I'm on ten. I need you to be up yeah. here with me. You know what I'm saying it's not even that I need you on ten. I just need you to understand that this shit ain't a game. Like you said, it's a job for them, but this is my career. This is my livelihood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just need you not to be playing. Like I said, if I call you, if this be the problem with most of the situations, is you called me and asked me for some work. You know what I'm saying? You call yeah. me and say, hey, hey, man, you got anything lined up? I'm fucked up. I need a couple of dollars. All right, look, I got two parties I'm doing. I got one on Saturday. I got one on Sunday. I need you here at 11 o'clock for both drinks. You can't now show up at 1.30. Like, that's not how this works. Nah, I, I, I can't have that shit at all. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Man. Now I'm cool. Like, And especially you know. my whole thing with that, man, this is how I take care of my family. So if you start playing with this situation, which means you playing with my family. Which means yeah. now I'm cool. I'm all the way good on the man, but yeah, shit. I had I had a little situation to where a bartender showed up late, bro. You know, and it just like it wasn't it wasn't too bad. You know what I'm saying? Because he wasn't like super late, but you know, it's, I guess you know, like some of that was on my end. But like 
Yeah, man. I had to have a serious conversation with dude. You know what I'm saying? It, it's been it's been it's been good ever since. But like, nigga, like those conversations is a must have. You know, you gotta, you know, you gotta have these conversations. And he he put he, he put some on me too. And that's you know, and it's like to me, it's like a learning experience because. Any bartender job that you have, you know, like if you go to like a concert or whatever the case may be, you got to get there early. Like you got to get there way before the fucking show starts. Show starts yeah, at 7, they can't. have y'all there, you know, they have y'all there at like 4 or 5 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's going to be hours before. But like for a job, you know, you just get there an hour set up. You know what I'm saying? If if, if the shit started at 5, you need to be there at 4. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really how it is. So, but it's like my thing. To me, it's like you grown. I you know this. I shouldn't have to tell you that because you've done it before. And he was just like, man, you know, you, you told me it was from 7 to, 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 to 11. I'm like, yeah. Nigga, what, an hour before? But it's just like going forward. Like, that's how me, just like going forward, like, I can't assume shit. You know what I'm saying? Let a motherfucker know what it is. Hey, the the story time is 7. You need to be there at 6. 6 to, six to 11. So getting all that shit out in the open so everybody can be on the same page. And it ain't no motherfucking gaps for you to make mistakes. Because I ain't trying to make no mistakes. I mean, one of them situations is always a learning experience. You don't know what you don't know in the beginning. So yeah. you, you can't ask the questions that you don't even know to ask in the beginning. But at the same time, like you said, it's always, it's always on you. If they tell you, yo, we need four people here and you only got two, it's on you. Whoever didn't show up is, the, is like, damn, he didn't come. He, she didn't make it. But it's still ultimately my fault. I got to bite this bullet. So you always got to be on top of it and making sure niggas is on it because like that's your name. That's your name. This is your company. They didn't call. Right. They didn't call me. They didn't call Hype and say, yo, we need you to be here. They called E and said, yo, we need you to get four people down here. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always yeah. thought like we have shit like somebody broke something. And it's like if we on a cleaning job and you break something, tell me you broke it. Don't let me be doing a walkthrough with them. And now how the fuck did the door get broke? And I don't know nothing about it. Or they find it later when we're gone. Because now this look like we had something to hide. I had yeah. a joint where we was moving a, a cement bags. And it's like a 50-pound bag, but it was like a boulder because it had been sitting in this basement for like four years. And it broke, chipped the, uh, it chipped like the step coming out the house. But it called the nigga, and yo, hey, look, the tap, step just, this is what happened. Tell them that this is what the situation is. Don't just let them discover the shit. But that's the All shit right. that happens though when everybody else ain't looking at it like you because everybody else's shit ain't on the line. Yours is. Thanks. So what's your what's your uh, next thing? Uh, bucket list, man. Um, man, honestly, bro, like. My main, so like one of my main goals, like I've been knocking shit off, like you know, like my goal list and everything. I just got my website built, uh, but like now, whoa, 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 whoa. don't gloss over that. I got my website built. Throw that out there now. E, come on. I mean, shit, we we just we just just talking, bro. I mean, like yeah, got my website (laughs) up, man. Oh, so so for the people that don't know, because we know we we talk a little bit before we ain't say shit, but um, yeah, I got my own bartending service uh company, man. So. I do private events, weddings, I do parties, like corporate events, like whatever, whatever. If you got, if you have an event and you and you need alcohol there, done. What's bro, what, what's so crazy about it, man? I've done like three, like kid parties, you know what I'm saying? Done three kid parties uh, so serving had, alcohol. Like Capri, so wait, you had the Capri signs and the Kool-Aids out? Nah, or nah, going? nah, <laughs> serving, serving, serving alcohol, serving alcohol. <laughs> alcohol so um but like so it's this it's these uh it's like this community nigerian community oh man like i i, I do all their parties and shit. like they have parties all the fucking time but like no like if they having a party a kid's party or whatever the case may be and for like the adults that's there they they can we, we serving alcohol you know what i'm saying so it's that's that's pretty dope because like, i you know i ain't did shit like that but um but now my my bucket list man is really to be the go to bartender service that I hear in um in the Metroplex man. That's uh that's what I'm shooting for. That's um that's where my eyes is headed. That's where my vision is. So I'm just trying to do everything possible for me to get to that get to that mark. All right, wait. Throw out the name 
throw out the name for the listeners and let them oh, know. Oh, damn, man, I ain't dead shit. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. No, you didn't, Lil Rusty. That's what happens when we can't, that's what happens when we can't get to 100 episodes, you know what I'm saying? Ah, <laughs> uh, nah, my business is Great Days Bartending, man. Great Days Bartending website is greatdaysbartending.com, you know. Um, it took me, man. I I didn't realize how hard it is like to set up a freaking website. Cause man, I I I hit up old lady, man. Like I made like numerous amount of changes. Like I told her to change, like do this, and she did exactly what I said. I didn't like it. Take all that shit down. <laughs> Let's. I want I wanted to say this. I want you to remove that. It's it's a lot, man. Um, but I I actually had help my homegirl. She um she stay in Jersey. Um, she, um, uh, she helped me out a lot, uh, cause she do, she build, she don't build websites, but she do like, she do something for, um, for the, for the websites. So she just, she went, she told me to make it way easier on people that's visiting the page. And that's, that's really what you need. Cause ain't nobody got time to read shit. They just look and they just, you know, they'll scroll. If they have, if they want to read something, they have, you know, give them the option to, to click on it, but don't just put it on the main screen and shit. But yeah, man. So. I'm out here trying to make some moves, bro. You know, I'm doing some things. Hey, man, one, salute to you for starting that. Uh, I've been watching you do that from afar. Um, and I love to see my people win. I love to see my folks win. And you just had the article came out in the paper. Uh, what, was the, what was not the paper, the magazine. My bad, it's not 1961. Uh, you had the article come out in the magazine. What was the name of the magazine? Throw that out there for the listeners too. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't even. Uh, damn, I'm stuttering. It wasn't no magazine. It's like a. Um, it's like I guess it's like a blog or some shit. But like it's a. It's a big. It's a, a big. Blog. Um, yeah, they, those are the magazines of the 20s. 20s yeah, you copy. Yeah, yeah I, I guess so. I guess so. But like it's this. Um, it's a big following. Um, it's called Dallas. Um, Dallas. Dallas TV. Something like that. And um. So they, they um, they pretty much like uh, shout out like people in their businesses out here in the metro place that's trying to do something or that's doing something. Nigga had to pay for that though, but shoot, but you know it's it's all worth it, you know, because I said that I wanted to get into marketing, do my marketing and everything. I got a, I'm still got a lot of more marketing to do, but you know that's just a start for like to get my name out there, you know, and it's been it's been helping, it's been working. Um, shouts out to Black Paco, episode 82. We just talked about this where you got to invest in yourself. Uh, you investing in yourself, you investing in yourself makes this household rings every episode. Um, you investing in yourself, the fact, makes, the, fact, the fact that you got a house phone though, like I don't want to no say nothing. <laughs> I don't know, but the fact I know. That you... <laughs> same phone number since 1972. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. So, the investment in yourself makes somebody else, like you said, the Dallas TV situation, that makes them look at you like, okay, so you taking it serious. You invest in yourself makes somebody else want to invest in you. But like I said, I ain't want to give you these flowers while we was just on the phone. We could talk all the time. We could text back and forth all the time. I wanted to give you this salute to tell you I'm proud of you and glad that you out there doing that situation because... Everybody wants to just follow those dreams. Like you said, man, I'm tackling a lot of this shit on my list. And that's a beautiful thing because most people just got a list of shit that they ain't going to never do. Right now, that list just be a list of shit that you ain't going to never accomplish. And if you hitting those, if you hitting all that shit on the head, salute to you. I love it. And I, I appreciate that too, man. But um, I really like free. I really do. I mean, you've been doing your shit. You know, I've been taking shit out of your book. You know, if you, if you talk about it, you got to be about it, man. You know, that's, and I've, I've been learning a lot, bro. Like, like the whole investing in yourself, man, is if you can have numerous amount of people that believe in you, but if you don't believe in yourself, none of that shit don't matter. You know? Copy. Nothing will you ever know, be so. louder than that. Nothing is ever louder. No matter what people are saying, there's nothing louder than the voice of your head. And it's if it. you can if you can't get over yourself, then it don't matter how much encouragement I could give you or anybody else could give you. If you don't believe that shit, then it ain't gonna go nowhere. That's it. They're just like telling the person, you know what I'm saying, they need to stop smoking crack. They 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 know they should, but do they want to? No. Nah. You know, it's just like they gotta they gotta get to the point of like, man, I need to get some help. I need to change this. 
But like now, nah, like believing in yourself is key, man. And investing in yourself, you got to, if you're a small business owner, I mean, you got to invest in yourself because you already, if you believe in yourself, you got to invest in yourself. You got to show people, like you said, like I'm, I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking, I'm taking it serious, you know, but people ain't going to take you serious unless you take yourself serious. And I take myself fucking serious, you know? Even though I fuck around a lot. You know? I was about to say, my nigga eating mature. Look at him. Go ahead now. He, <laughs> he ain't slipped. He ain't slipped up and gave him. He ain't slipped up yet on a big word or nothing. My nigga, hey, hey, ahead, hey, man. hey, 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 you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't slip. You, you can't slip up on the words you don't use. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah, man. I mean, like that was a, a lot of that shit. There was a lot of stuff though in the seminars, the hot hustle seminars. When I did those, it was like a lot of that shit, man. You got to treat this shit like it's real. You got to treat this shit like it's really something that you want to do. Because if you do, then you will get those results. And like I said, shit, we've been I don't even know how long now. We've been talking for years, and yeah. just to hear the growth and the maturity in you, in you from knowing, like I said, we've been talking for so many years to hear that shit, man. That shit is beautiful, bro. I love it. And yeah. like I said, I didn't want to just give you them flowers while we on the phone one-on-one because we could do that anytime. One thing I All love right. to do is like, if you respect and like something that somebody's doing it, let them know. Don't wait till the nigga die and now you got this long ass caption under his picture. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit don't mean that. And then he can't, he can't get it then. Like, yeah, right. your son might be able to look at it and say, oh, damn, this is what people thought about my dad, but I want you to know what the fuck I think about you. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. And I always tell people that. It means a lot, my boy. Real talk, you know. I know I, I know. I hadn't told you that I'm, you know, I admire what you out there doing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's always something new, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, you say you, um, what you say? You told me you're doing the Live Nation. So you told the people about the Live Nation and everything? No, no, no. We keep that under wraps, okay. baby. Okay, all right. <laughs> Go ahead and edit that out then. <laughs> um, all right, my last one that I need. Um I need to get that big ass deck on the back of the house so that I can get my grill and my smoker hooked up. That's what the hell I really need, man. <laughs> I know that what, ain't what's gonna the- no, nah, that I mean, shit, that's that's if that, if that's a go, that's a go. You know what that's I'm saying? What's, copy what, what's what's the steps for you to for you to get there though? I need that. I need to get the. I need to get like I said, number two. You got to get this conglomerate going. Once uh, you can get yeah. the conglomerate going, it's like you want. I want to be like. I got to get to the point where like I'm the one stop shop for everything. If you need anything, I'm trying to be able to make it happen. Or if I can't make it happen, I got the reach to make it happen. If a nigga from Dallas hit me and say, "Hey man, we looking to do a, uh, we doing a party down such and such and such and such." Oh, all right. Well, my folks got the bartending business down there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if somebody hit me about, somebody hit me something about, oh yeah, I'm sliding to Vegas. I made a phone call and then I got you an itinerary for shit that's going on in Vegas. Nigga hit me about yeah. they was out in Dallas for something. I can hit a nigga and find out what's the itinerary in Dallas for the night. I got folks in Detroit who, yo man, you got anybody coming? We got security. We got. Uh, venues to do parties and all of that type of shit. I love to be able to make those phone calls and make those things happen. These are some of these motherfuckers I never even met in person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These are just relationships and shit that like I build. Like if I said, if I tell somebody I fuck with them, I really mean that shit. I don't mean this while I need you to do this episode, while I needed you to do this, that, or whatever. Nah, I ain't that type nigga. So being able to have a reach to get any and everywhere and always you become the most valuable person if everybody needs to come to you for everything. That's it. That's it, bro. Salute to you on that. Keep keep it going, bro. You know what I'm saying? When when you when you get that bitch built, go ahead and buy the nigga out, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if y'all Philly niggas know how to barbecue though. Talking about you got smoker and shit. All right, now don't get me to don't get me to sauteing and shit on here. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know saying? Gotta let them wings marinate for at least a day. You know what I'm saying? At, at least Season a day. At, yeah. at least a day. I, 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 hear, I hear you over there, shit. I was um, I was at my boy's spot last night uh for the fight and shit. Um, we fried some wings. You know, I did a little hot lemon pepper. You know, hey, your boy, hey, I, I get down, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Look, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't even gonna tell you how you know what all I put in there. You know, cause you say lemon pepper, you be like, oh, okay, but nah, that that shit legit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah. What what else we got, man? We got we still got a little bit more time. What what, what else we got? Yeah. This is what I want to know now. Now we're going to dive into E. We're going to dive into EJ and see what's going on with you. Okay. 
What is the sig? Do we have a signature drink that we make? I got a lot of signature drinks, bro. You know, copy that. Um, give me three. That, give me three. Give me three signature drinks, then. Three signature drinks, man. So one, like I said, man, I posted the strawberry henny, nigga. That whole been going bananas at the at the at the functions, bro. Like it, it's it's crazy because you know henny. the Dang. strawberry henny. So you know, so it's it's henny. So you know, niggas in the East Coast love henny. <laughs> so, I don't like brown. I can't fuck with that brown. I'm a white boy, man. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm strong on the brown. But no, like the strawberry henny is so legit, bro. It's like females and dudes love it, you know? Because like the first, every time I do it, it'd be a, it'd be a nigga be like, man, I don't want no, I, I don't, is it sweet? I say, hey, it's a little sweet. It's strawberry. They'd be like, nah, I don't want that. I said, hey, you say that, try it out. And then I promise you, you'll be back. Never fail. Niggas back in line. That's all they getting for the rest of the month. Dead <laughs> ass, bro. That's all they getting. But so you got the strawberry henny. Um, my smoked old fashions is uh is uh that's that's my signature drink. One the one that I love. I'm coming out. Um, I'm coming out with a uh, a twist to um to the old fashioned. So it's called um uh, French and fashion. So it's Hennessy, Grand Marnier. Uh, bourbon, and um, you still got your bitters. So, um, a French seventy-five is it French? That's not French seventy-five. Damn, I forgot what the fuck it's called. Um, anyway, so it's it's Hennessy and um and Grand Marnier. So that's a drink. So the reason why it's French and fashion because in the old fashion you have like orange bitters and shit like that, orange this and everything. So the Grand Marnier takes the place of that. Then you have uh you have your cognac, little other your cognac, and you still having bourbon to the to the mix. So it's 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 legit, you know. Um, I'm gonna make a video on that probably uh next week. Uh, and I'm I'm gonna throw one out because you know you um I'm gonna throw a white one out there for you. Um, let's see what's what's another one. What's a good? My nigga, he white got one. his flavor. He got his flavors and his textures. Oh yes, you got to get that little bit of citrus hit in there. So, hey, you got to, bro. Hey, this this I is love this that what shit. I do. Go ahead. He talked that this shit. What, this, what, this what I do, bro. You know, um, what's another good one, bro? Um, uh, spicy spicy mango uh, margarita. So that's um, that's that's pretty legit. I'm doing that next week for uh, for a client. It's pretty good. I ain't even got to do shit. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna tell y'all what all I put in there because it ain't even my mix. But I, but niggas think it's my mix, you know. That's right. Don't be giving niggas the recipes. You know what I'm saying? Tell them they gotta hire. Hey, they get great. They gotta get great day down there if they want to know what them joints really hey, hitting for. Hey, hey, shit. But you can you can even book me. I'll come out there. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is pay, pay for that flight. You know what I'm saying? Took the, took the words out my mouth. I was about to ask you. Damn, are you doing any out of town joints? Somebody hit you? I haven't, in- I haven't done that yet. I haven't done nothing yet, but if somebody but I, but hits I you in San Antonio, Houston, if they hit you in New Orleans, they hit you in Oklahoma, and they hit you anywhere, are you sliding? I'm definitely sliding. You pay for room and board, and I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I'm Not there. Because you know, know international hype, this is going everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might say, oh, damn, I need one of these spicy bangos. <laughs> spicy bangos. Hey, you can, you can get that in more. I come, I come, I'll make your own special uh, cocktail. That's, that's what I do. Um, but yeah, oh man, so we was, um, you want to hear something crazy, bro? Like, so I only been bartending a year, uh, probably a year and some month, about a year, a year and some month, a year and, uh, probably a couple of months. Um, but I already had a goal or a game plan in my mind. I didn't even know. I just said I wanted my own business, bartending business. I didn't know what the fuck that looked like. Right. But I knew what I wanted to do. And I already had a game plan in my head. I didn't put it on paper. But once you put that shit on paper, bro, you'd be surprised what you know what's what you really can accomplish. But you need you need a game plan for anything that you do in life though. Like dead ass, you know. And um the way the way somebody broke it down to me is that teachers have a itinerary, you know what I'm saying? You have lesson plans and shit, and then you'll know what to study, how to you know, what we're doing this week, what we're doing next week, and then we gotta find an exam at the end of the semester. That's the same thing with uh with a business plan, with a game plan, you know what I'm saying? Your goals, write that shit down. But then nigga TJ, TJ told, he brought this shit up to me, man. Um, he told me I needed to be a bartender like three, four years ago. 
And I was like, a bartender? The fuck I look like? I don't want to be no bartender, you know? Not not knowing that that was my calling. You know what I'm saying? See, the shit that you talking about right there, though, um, shout out to T for having the foresight, you know what I'm saying, to see that, though. But the shit that you talking about right there is the thoughts. Having the thoughts in your head, you think a whole bunch of shit, but it's a whole, it's way different once you, like you said, you can see it. Because you could think it and be like, I got the thought in my head, but I can't really formulate the idea just yet. Once yeah. you put it down and you can see it, now it's like, okay, this is what it is. And now you start to visualize that shit to go with that thought. Now this shit becomes real, like you said. So once you get it on paper, yeah, it changes it because it's like now, oh, this is what it is. It's not just some shit that I'm trying to formulate. It's actually there and it's something I can, att- something I can actually accomplish. Right. Yeah, saying is believing to a lot of people, but it's you know I know people like you gotta have faith. What you do, but yeah, you got you definitely gotta see that shit, man. So before we wrap up episode, what is this one? Eighty three of the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. Last time, shot. First of all, appreciate my nigga E for coming on again. Um, last time I had you on, you was with T. Shouts out to TJ. I know my man T's locked in. Uh. We said, are we getting to 100 episodes of the It's Better This Way podcast? My nigga E told me definitely, we definitely getting there. That was what EJ said. So now, before we wrap up this next appearance from my man E, what are we doing about these 100, getting to 100, E? Man, I ain't, bro, I don't know, fam. You know, it's like, it's, <laughs> I don't know, fam. It's just like, I, I've, I've always been, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, this is, we doing it. We doing it, nigga. But after talking to T, it's just like, shit, I don't know, bro. Like, but we, we had a conversation, man, Um, because cause I'm always throwing pebbles at that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I always throwing pebbles, hoping that nigga throw one back at me, you know? Um, last time, I was like, say, man, we, we need to do something. We need to do something about, you know, about this podcast, bro. You know, because his whole thing is that, you know, he, he say he not into it. Oh, he he he's not into it like he once was. You know, I get it. You know, shit change, people change. You know, um, I guess it's like a thing of just being consistent. For because you know we were putting out an episode once a week, so he was he was just like last time I talked to him about it, he was just like I don't know if I can you know like do consistent be consistent with it. I'm like shit, we ain't got to. Shit, you busy, I'm busy too. So it's just like it's a thing to where we don't have to put out an episode every week. We can put out an episode, like you know, like like record and just take take that shit from there. You know what I'm saying? Slowly but surely until until we get to the point. So even if we are recording once a week, you know, but just getting out there. He say he down. I ain't heard him say shit else about it. <laughs> but he, Copy that. He say so, he down. All right. I'm on T ass then. That's all that means. T, I'm on your ass. You already know the phone call's coming, T. <laughs> hey, let, hey let, let let that nigga know. Let that nigga know, though. All right, E, I appreciate you coming on, bro. That was episode 83. Damn, tell them where to follow you at, though, E, my bad. Tell them where to follow oh, you yeah, yeah. before the we show, wrap the show, up. The show. Hey, good people. Um, You can follow me on IG at EJ is back. That's E-J-I-Z back. Um, Facebook, not important. Um, But Great Days Bartending. I'm on Facebook there. IG is Great Days Bartending. And website is greatdaysbartending.com. You can Google me because I am verified, baby. You know what I'm saying? Talk that shit, E. Because I tell niggas all the time, you can Google me too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> appreciate Dang. you coming on, E. We, oh, hey, appreciate uh, you having me, fam. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>